and Miss World herself, Rita Farrier, the medical student from Bombay. The first Indian girl ever to wear a swimsuit in a beauty contest and the first from her country to win this most coveted title. But the new Miss World wants to turn down any offers of film contracts in favour of her studies. She wants to use her £2,500 prize to learn to become a gynaecologist. What qualities should Miss World 1994 embody? Not the Miss Worlds that we've had up to date have been proof enough that they have had compassion. Compassion for the underprivileged, not only the people who have status and stature, who can look beyond the barriers that man has set up. And Miss World 1994 is Miss India. What I would like to say tonight, I draw inspiration from a famous writer and poet, William Butler Yeats, who once wrote, In dreams begin responsibility. Well, for me, this title is that dream. And in the responsibility it brings, I cherish that in some small way, I could make a difference and help the dreams of others. Thank you. And Miss World 1997 is Miss India. If you could be anyone in the world, who would it be? Well, it will have to be Audrey Hepburn. Yeah, good choice. She was beautiful, wasn't she? It was her inner beauty and compassion and her aura, the calm that she had inside, the woman of her that reflected. Well, you have a real strong look about you that look that very much like her. Thank you so much. Miss World 1999 is Miss India. Miss India, absolutely delighted. She's hugging Miss Israel there. She's looking elegant. She's been fabulous all evening. I hope she's wearing waterproof mascara. There she is, receiving her special Miss World. Do you consider to be the most successful woman living in the world today, and why? Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. There are a lot of people who I admire and believe in, but I think one of the most successful women who have achieved a lot, not just for herself or other countries, I think would be Mother Teresa. I admire her from the bottom of my heart for being so considerate, compassionate, kind, giving up her life to people in India, to give up everything that she ever had to make others' lives beautiful, to bring a smile on people's face. That's what I believe in. Thank you very much. And Miss World 2000 is Miss India. <laughs> So this is remarkable, this is the fifth time India has won Miss World. Of course, we've had Richard and Paul, who's the current world champion, she'll hand over the crown to the gorgeous, beautiful Pekala Chopper, 18 years old. She's our student, she loves singing gospel, she'll be praising the Lord tonight as she receives the crown for the world's most beautiful woman. Pekala Chopper is Miss World. Profession deserves the highest salary and why? Um, since I'm very close to my mother, I think uh, a mother deserves uh, the highest respect. And uh, when you talk about salary, I don't think it's just about uh, about cash, but I feel it's the love and respect that you give to someone. And uh, I think uh, my mom is, has always been the biggest inspiration in my life. And all mothers, they just sacrifice so much for their kids. So. The profession which deserves the highest salary, the highest respect and love, I should should be of a mother. And Miss World 2017 is...
You have gone with judge number two, Florence LaRue. Congratulations. If you had the time and money to embark upon a great adventure, what would it be? Well, I think uh, adventure for me is something that I, I enjoy from within me. And I think children are the, the, the little things that can really bring in a lot of adventure in your life. And if I had the time and the money and I could do something, I wouldn't say I would do something for the children who are downtrodden. Any, any child is worth it while. I would do something for the children so I could enjoy my time with them, go out and have a good time. Thank you very much. All right. The first runner-up is Miss Columbia. That means to meet us in Miss India. You are the new Miss Universe 1994. Congratulations, Miss India. Susmita Sen, you are the new Miss Universe 1994. Here's your final question. Right now, there's a protest going on right outside here calling the Miss Universe pageant disrespectful of women. Convince them that they're wrong. I think pageants. I think pageants like the Miss Universe pageant gives us young women a platform to foray into the fields that we want to and forge ahead, be it entrepreneurship, be it the armed forces, be it politics. It gives us a platform to voice our choices and opinions and makes us strong and independent that we are today. Thank you. Thank you, India. Tonight's first runner-up, Venezuela! Bạn có thể chọn câu trả lời, câu hỏi. Thank you. The question is from Miss Earth 2002. Which has more significance to your life right now, a sunrise or a sunset? Câu hỏi dành cho hoàng Ấn Độ đó là điều gì quan trọng hơn đối với bạn, hoàng hôn hay là bình minh? Chắc chắn tôi sẽ chọn hoàng hôn, tôi sẽ chọn bình minh. Bởi vì khi nhìn đến bình minh thì người ta nghĩ rằng người ta sẽ có cả một ngày mới để có thể làm được rất nhiều việc. Và trong ngày đó thì bạn sẽ có 24 tiếng để tạo nên những điều tốt đẹp hơn cho cuộc sống. Và trước khi mà bình minh tiếp theo đến thì bạn sẽ có thể làm được nhiều việc hơn. Càng có nhiều thời gian bạn sẽ càng làm được nhiều việc tốt. Xin cảm ơn.